Hello guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and today we're going to be going through my Shop My Stash and Everyday Makeup Basket for November of 2020. You know, thankfully and surprisingly, October actually felt like kind of a long month. It's my favorite month. I love it so much. So I've got a lot in here to clean up. I've got some new products. I got some products we got to switch out. We got to Shop My Stash and make this a little bit more presentable again. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so here on the top, we're going to take out most of these products, like all of the eyeliners that I had pulled. Yeah, let's pull all of those. Um, the mascaras, I believe I have one more month on these mascaras, so we're going to leave those in. I've got this one from Radial Cosmetics, and then this one's from Pixie. Uh, this black lipstick from Kindness Vegan Beauty with Vegan and Kindness, I'm going to put back into my collection. I finally posted my Volume 3 of the Best and Worst of Black Lipsticks video. If you missed it, I will throw it up in the cards. One lipstick that I actually finally just got in that unfortunately I did not get in time for that video is this Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. So I do want to keep that in and we'll put it right up at the front. Nope, and I missed an eyeliner. We'll get rid of that too. Keeping my NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. My NYX Glitter Glue, of course. And I have a little spatula and my cuticle. I actually don't really use this for cuticles as much as I use it for like opening products. So those just kind of live right there. Also pulling out this MAC Brown liner. I have a chapstick in here. This is actually from um, Notoriously Morbid Cosmetics. Now for the lipsticks. I'm going to keep Rebel Rose because this is the perfect time of year. You know, I'm actually going to scoot the black lipstick back and put Rebel Rose right there. It's the perfect time of year for it. Um, the rest of these Pixie lipsticks, I feel like I've tested them enough and I... I want to give it another month before I film my full Pixie video because I've got a few other products I still have to try. But I've used these enough. I think I've got my opinions on them, so I'm going to put them into my lipstick drawers. And then over here, all of the ColourPop and Sophia lipsticks. I wore a few of them for filming, and they're very spoopy and Halloween-y. So I'm going to just swap them out, and we'll pick some new lipsticks. You know what? I'm going to pull this. I need to clean my eyelash curler. That's kind of nasty. <laughs> So, speaking of new lipsticks, I actually just placed an order from Ulta to get some skincare, and while I did it, I saw that the lipstick that AOC wears the most was in stock. This is from Stila Cosmetics, and this is the lipstick in Beso, so I was like, I had to pick it up, you know? I really just wanted to try it. So we've got that. So I can't wait to try that. I will put it right there. Okay, so up here I've got cards that I use. I've got the Sephora Holiday Sales Event. Normally I just keep these cards to use as, like guides for like my eyeshadow for like if I want to make a wing or something. I've got the Sweet Peach palette from Too Faced up here. I still want to do a full face. I have not been able to film it yet, so I'm going to save it and put it into the drawer once we get to it. I've got my two setting sprays here, the Pixie and the Wet n Wild, and then I've got my Lush Karma Cream Lotion. So I believe we are good for this top shelf. All right, so in drawer number one, I really want to swap out the foundations because I feel like I've been using these same foundations for a bit. And I want something a little different. So um, I keep I kept forgetting to use this tiny NYX powder. I was using the Superstay powder instead. So I'm actually going to just bring out the Superstay powder. And really just continue to use this NYX powder. I'm going to move out this Crow and Pebble eye primer. Because I'm pretty sure this is my Tri Beauty box. I'm going to film that unboxing and review. Probably this afternoon. But I think I got an eye primer in there. So I kind of want to test that one. So I'm going to put the Crow and Pebble one away for now. I'm going to wash this bread thing, and for the Kylie powder, you know what, it's alright, it's a decent powder, but it's not like, it's definitely not worth the price, it's not spectacular. I actually talked about this in my last review roundup video, if you missed that video I'll throw it up in the cards, but I really want to swap this out and bring out my, I think I saw the Givenchy powder, I want to bring that one out, so I'm going to swap this. Now I want to pull, yeah, I'm going to pull all the foundations. So I've got the uh, Makeup Revolution Stick Foundation, the Pat McGrath, the Charlotte Tilbury, and the Pixie. I have to say, like, I used most of this. I think there's only like a third of this left, but this Beauty Balm from Pixie surprised me. So I'm definitely excited to talk about this during my Pixie review video. I want to leave the Dermacol in here. I'm actually having a lot of fun experimenting with the Dermacol, and I'm going to pull out the ColourPop uh, Concealer. I actually recently got a new concealer I want to try. I'm going to keep the green concealer in here. The NYX pore filler is almost done. It's like a little sample size I got. So I want to leave it in here and just finish that up. And for the life of me, I keep forgetting to use the stupid Beauty Blender foundation sample. So I need to like put it right front and center. So I'm going to actually use it. So we pretty much cleared out this first drawer. 
for another messy drawer. <laughs> I feel like my drawers have just been like packed this month. But again, I want to swap out like most of this. So let's go ahead and take out the liner, the um, pumpkin spice palette from Midas. We're going to keep these in because that is from my HP Project Pan. I'm going to pull out the ABH Dream Glow Kit. As well as the Lunatic Cosmetic Labs Elvira palette. I did a spotlight on Petite palettes with this. If you missed it, I'll throw that up in the cards. This pixie, like, I forgot what they actually call it. A glimmer shadow, a pixie, whatever. Um, I've been using that with those shadows, so I'm going to leave that in there. This highlighter, I'm actually almost done panning. So that is going to stay. And I'm going to move out these two cover effects duos back into my blush drawer. And then for the Charlotte Tilbury quads, you know what? I am going to be doing a round two with these palettes, but I think I'm going to just remove them from here because I've tested the Walk of No Shame one quite a bit. Can we focus? Um, but I still have not used the green one, so I kind of want to test them both out thoroughly before my next video. So I use them for a bit, I want to put them back into my collection, and then come back to them with some fresh eyes. So now that we have that open, I'm going to move the Peach Perfect Sweet Peach palette down here so it's actually in a drawer. Next drawer, look at all these palettes. <laughs> I still, I was planning to wear lashes for my black lipstick video and I just didn't. I feel like at this point I should just admit that I just don't wear lashes. <laughs> Let's give it a month, we'll give it another month. I'll leave these in here along with the little glues that I've got. But I'm going to move out these palettes because I've used these a lot and I really want to swap them out. Including these pixie palettes. So there we go, we got that cleaned, cleaned out. And last but not least, the bottom drawer. I've got a lot of my electronics over in this little section here. And then over here, I keep my big palettes. I'm going to move out the Lunatic Cosmetic Labs face palette. I want to keep my custom face palette in here. Because I just, I really enjoy using it, especially the blushes. So I'll just keep that down there. Alrighty, so we've cleaned everything out. I'm going to go ahead and put this makeup away where it belongs. And then we'll be back to shop my stash. All right, so welcome to my makeup collection. There have been some rearranging. Is that even a sentence? I rearranged a few things, and I also rearranged the entirety of my eyeshadow palette bookshelf, but we will get to that when we get to it. For the top, for the most part, ow. For the most part, this top section is pretty much the same. I have my sponges up here. I've got my tape for swatches, all of my nail and hair care over here. This, the first drawer we're going to go through are eyeliners and the last month i spent i did a lot of black eyeliner which was fun a lot of smoky looks hmm i don't know what i want to go for like if i want to do a liquid liner i dropped one so i want to bring these two liners out this one's new this is from nyx i believe yep and it's a green liner which i think would look really pretty with some green looks and then i want to bring out they're both nyx actually so the jumbo eye pencil in black bean because i think this is going to be a really good primer for some dark smoky looks and i'm really feeling now that we're getting into fall some smoky looks so i'm gonna bring these two in over here we have some pot liner and my eye primers and some single shadows i think i am fine over here the only hmm do i want to bring out another single shadow that light blue is actually okay i want to bring out this light blue shade is actually really pretty it's from geek chic cosmetics from the hannibal lecter collection that's just a very pretty blue so i think i'm gonna bring that in here we have my lashes aka the thing that i almost never wear <laughs> i gotta work on that seriously here we have i'm trying not to move it too much because that but this is my liquid shadow and like c Liquid glitter and glow and natasha chromiums and covergirl shadow collection i was keeping a bunch of these in my everyday makeup basket because i was reaching for them so often but i moved them all back and now i just reach for this drawer whenever i want to grab one of these so i think they're going to stay in here for now but i really love all of these shadows <laughs> and i'm really glad i have them so i just put them all in like this really accessible drawer right next to my vanity so i can just kind of pop in and grab one whenever i'm feeling a liquid shadow all right, here we have face powders. The only face powder I want to grab is what is left of this Pat McGrath one because I do want to grab the Pat McGrath concealer so I can use it. I will pull out the foundation at some point, but I want to pull back out the Pat McGrath concealer and powder to use those together with the foundation. And for face products, I'm mainly using my Pen That Palette face palette. And because of that, I think I should pull out some single products, which are going to be in my Alex drawer. So I think I'm going to leave these like that. Moving on down, a lot of this changed. So we're going to have to go through this. But first, uh, the lip liner drawer. 
do I need to, you know what, maybe I should pull a lip liner. That way it would actually like get me to use lip liner. Let's pull a red one out since I did just get that red one from, that red lipstick from, I forgot what brand it was already, Stila. Uh, so this is from Catrice. This is just uh, the Ultimate Stay lip liner and it's a bright red. So I can use it with that Stila line or the Stila lipstick. So now what's new is I've reorganized all of my lipsticks into these drawers. So over here we have all of my lip glosses. Here we have all of my nude or peachy toned lipsticks. The next drawer down are all of my red toned lipsticks. And then this drawer is all of my black and green lipsticks. All the black and green lipsticks in here. And then this final drawer is kind of the miscellaneous, whatever doesn't fit in these first four categories gets put in here. So for lipstick, since I already pulled a red, I think I'm good for red. I want to pull a nude and a gloss. So let's grab a gloss. I think I'm gonna go for this Alyssa Ashley and Elf gloss, cause it is dark and I can wear this like on its own and it is fairly pigmented. So let's do that. And then for my nude lipstick, what? Ooh, I have a Stila nude. I could bring that in and use it with the new Stila red. Let's do that. So this is a mini Stila lipstick in the shade Carmelo. So it is a really nice nude shade on me and I think it'll be very nice to just go back and retest out that Stila formula now that I have that full size red lipstick. All right, so let's jump into the Alex drawers. All right, so this top drawer is kind of a mess. I really do need to reorganize this, but this is where I have all of my like loose products. And by loose, I mean like depotted products like this. So that is empty, and I think this is also an empty palette, yes. Okay, so for here, I really want to pick out, let's see, do I need a loose? Well, I am almost done panning that highlighter. So, you know, I'm going to leave these in here. I think I'm going to pick an actual highlighter from the highlighter drawer, but I do want to pull out something here that will fit in my face palette that I can also use. So I'm thinking more towards either the Smashbox... You know what, let me bring in the Smashbox into my face palette, and then this is a Kevin Aquan powder. Let's also bring that one in. Yeah, yeah, I think that'll be good. And then what else? We got some makeup removing wipes. We've got my color switch over here. I've got some more samples in here that I should pull out. This is a brow product. Honestly, I forgot what brand it's from. Uh, tuxedo. I think it's a brow product. And actually, these might be eyeshadows. Either way, I'm going to bring those in and actually get some use out of this. I also have a blur primer sample from YSL. Let's bring that in. And then what is this? A serum sample? Skincare samples I keep for when, like, I'm traveling. So I might just move that over into my skincare drawer. But I still have this whole big bag of foundation samples. So let me go through here and see if there's anything else that I can use. Okay, so I'm cleaning this out and like these ones where it's just like I can literally just see the shade and nothing else. Like in this, this is what? Estee Lauder. I already know my shade in Estee Lauder, so I'm probably just going to get rid of that. Let's see. Here's another one, this Elia foundation. This is one where it's just enough product to like swatch, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So like these, I'm, I'm going to get rid of those because... I don't really see myself purchasing those anytime soon. And like this tart, that's enough just for a swatch so that can go. Um, what I'm looking for are things like this, where, let's flip it right side up, where there's a bubble of product that's enough to actually use, you know? So that's what I'm looking for. Charlotte Tilbury, like this one, these are just tiny swatch only. And I already just purchased a Charlotte Tilbury foundation. It's actually a good shade match for me. So that can go. Um, these from Armani, these are full uses of products, so I'll keep that one. And then let's see what the ABH one is. Yep, see, these are usable little bubbles. So, here we go. So out of those, we have these usable samples. Let's bring in the Sephora Tinted uh, Matte Moisturizer, which is kind of unique. So let's bring in this to get some use. And then I will keep these two, since I can actually use them at some point. And then we will get rid of the rest of these ones that are really just swatches. And if anything, before I get rid of them, I might just swatch them real quick to see how they look on my skin tone. But this isn't something that I would bring into an everyday makeup basket to use, right? This is literally just like a swatch and done kind of thing. So we should be good now with the top drawer. All right, now this drawer is a little busy. It's got all of our powders, loose powders, 
foundations, concealers, and primers. Now, the primer that I'm gonna I'm using right now, I'm about to run out of, so I should pull out another primer. I really, you know what? I really liked this Milani oil, and I could probably finish this. So let's bring this in, and I'll finish that. That way, we make more room in here. Look at that, more room, lovely. For foundation, I really want to pull out, this is a new one, I haven't tried yet. This is the Kindness Vegan Beauty with Vegan Beauty Kindness. <laughs> Excited to finally try this out. Uh, da, 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 da. What else do I, since that one's super full coverage, maybe I should bring in a little bit of a lighter coverage. <sighs> well, you know what, now that it's getting colder, I think now it'd be time to bring in like a dewy foundation. So I've got the Maybelline Dewy and Smooth. Let's bring that in. So let's see, so let's one, two, let's do one more foundation. Hmm. Let's bring in this collab one, the Bright Spark foundation. And then let's do some reorganizing here, bring over some bottles. The shorter bottles do well when they stand up like this. There we go. Now, for powder, I said I really wanted to bring back the Givenchy powder, so I'm gonna bring this back in. So we're good for powder there. And then for concealer, I have some new concealers here, still in the box. And these, I finally picked up the Tarte Hydra Sealer. So I got two full size. Um, I got them for half off, so basically two for the price of one. And I got the shades one, I got the shade, <laughs> I got the shades 12N and 8S. So I don't know which one is gonna be better for my skin tone, but I wanna open these up and test them both out and use those. And then, of course, I wanna bring in the Pat McGrath concealer. So we should be good there. All right. I think that's everything for this drawer. <laughs> Blush and highlighter. Now, hmm. I've got so many options for highlighter. I don't even know like where to jump in, you know? <laughs> Let's go over the blush though. So, I haven't used a cream blush in a little bit. I was mainly using powder blushes, so I feel like I should pull a cream. Let's pull in this Fenty. And should I also pull in a powder blush? I should bring in this one from Pixie. This is the Pixie Peach Honey Beauty Blush Duo. So I'll bring that one in. And then I think we should be good for blush there. Now for highlighter. What do I feel? What kind of highlight do I want? I want something bright. I want something pretty. Let's see. Something different from what I already have, which is the Becca. Let's use this. Let's bring in the Kylie Weather Collection palette. This is what it looks like. So let's bring that one in. And we should be good here. Now drawer number four is kind of still really empty. All I have in here are setting sprays and then my backup mascaras, which I just realized I have a lot of backup mascaras, <laughs> and a brow gel. So I mean there really isn't much here that I need, so we're gonna go ahead and skip this. All right, and then for our last drawer, the face palettes, I already have face products, so I don't think I need to pull anything from here specifically. Because I already have a face palette, you know? And I really want to focus on those single products and just have like one face palette I'm reaching for as opposed to like a few. So I think we're going to be good here. Let's go ahead and switch over to my reorganized eyeshadow palette bookshelf. All right, so here is my eyeshadow palette bookshelf, and as you can see, if we zoom down, the eyeshadows are now on every shelf. I used to have this bottom shelf clear, and I had, like, other products there, but I was getting too crowded on the other two shelves, and so I made the whole thing eyeshadow palettes. So let's zoom in. I really want to pick some that I haven't reached for in a bit, so I need to go in and do, like, a deep dive, so let me zoom in a little bit. All right, so I was just down, I looked through all of my palettes, and I picked two that I have not reached for in a long time that I really want to. And the first one might be a bit controversial, but this is the Jaclyn Hill palette, the original palette from Morphe. And I have to say, despite everything, this is actually a really good palette. So yeah, so I am going to bring this in, as well as this palette, the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. I wanted this so badly for so long finally found it at a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls a couple years ago, and now I don't reach for it as often as I should. So this is going to come in. We've got some beautiful, cool tone shades here. Alrighty, so now that we've picked everything out, let me go ahead and organize everything in my basket, and we will be back for the final reveal. 
All right, so here we are with the final basket. I've got the lipsticks added up here along with the lip liner, the lip gloss, our eyeliners, and then to be quite honest, not a whole lot else really changed up here. We have a whole lot of goodies, <laughs> new goodies, in our first drawer. So we have all the foundations, the Maybelline, the Collab, the KVD Vegan Beauty. We have our primer. We have all of our concealers and then everything that was already in the basket. I've got the powders up here along with the loose powder, the Sephora sample we're going to be working on, and then my other two little samples right there. Next, actually, I could probably move this over here and see everything. We've got the Sweet Peach palette, we've got the cream blush, the powder blush, the loose shadow we picked up, and then the rest of everything that was already in the basket, as well as the Kylie highlighter palette. Drawer number three, we have the Carry Over <laughs> Lashes, and then the Too Faced Chocolate Bun Buns palette, and the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Last but not least, we have the final drawer with the electronics like usual, and then the and then the <laughs> custom face palette that I just dropped, so I did break this one a little bit, but we added the other two contour and bronzer shades in there just to make it a little bit more um, enticing for me to keep pulling that every day. All right, and so that is everything I'm going to be using for November, along with a little sneak peek at the Tri Beauty Box. I'm going to film it right after this video, so I don't know if the Tri Beauty Box is going to go up before or after this video. If it's before, I'll throw that video up in the cards. If it's after, make sure you're subscribed, you hit the bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.